Hi mom and hello everybody else. Uh, it's morning here in my, my homestead. I've made a few adjustments. Uh, I built a bridge over to the mine, that helps a lot. Built a, a back door to uh, visit my animals. I've got a chicken pen over here. One chicken in it, I'm working on that. I built a tree house. Built the tree house. Um, I haven't been making videos for a few days because I'm fighting with overheating problems. My computer, I'm, I'm taking temporary measures at the moment. My computer literally has an ice pack on it right now with a paper towel wrapped around it. So, uh, don't know how long I'll be able to make this video. But I built the tree house, hollowed out some area here, put out some extra, extra wood. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's just a an area with a few rooms and a nice view. I took some vines from the local swamp. They're growing all over the place. It's got a nice view of the whole place here. It's my home. There's a pig up there, so that's good. Alright, but what I want to do today is go on an adventure. Not just exploring for some material or other, but actually... Come on. Actually, have an adventure. So I've got a sword. I've got uh, iron armor. I finally got a nice avatar here. This is uh, based on Spock from some of the Star Trek movies. So I've got iron armor and iron sword, and I've got a backup set. I also went fishing for a while, and I managed to find this amazing magical bow. But uh, the only problem is I don't have any arrows, so I'm just carrying it with me for now. Now to go on a proper adventure. You can't have it on peaceful mode, because well, it's not much of an adventure. You can explore, and you can have all kinds of crazy fun in Minecraft on peaceful. But there's no real danger, you know, there's no risk. So I've decided I don't want to risk my, my homestead getting damaged, so I'm going to cross this bridge. Once I'm on the other side of the bridge, I'm going to take it off of peaceful. And I discovered a sort of ravine that I wanted to go down. Difficulty? I'll just put it on easy. It's, it's hard enough for me, believe me. I'll still get killed. I'll have to see if I can find my way back to this ravine that I located because I really wanted to check that out. It's just a cave. I'm all stocked up. I get plenty of food. I've got uh, colored wool squares to mark my way in case I encounter any kind of maze-like area. Somewhere up this away ish. It's this deep ravine. Hopefully, I'll find it. <laughs> Is it over here? No, it looks like just a cave. Oh, oh, oh! That's it, that's it. I think it. there's another opening of it over here. Or was it just the one? Might be wrong about that. What was this it over here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. So check that out. It is amazing, and I've got to get down there and have a look. So, uh, I brought my tools with me. I'll make sure I can get back out again after. Ow. <laughs> that is a, a larger, longer drop than I expected to be. Alright, some steps there now. Oh, there's some iron over here. Go grab that. Cannot resist a bit of iron. Oh, there's an entrance right here. Sort of. I'm holding down shift here so I can really look over the edge. Look at that. It's enormous. Lots of lava, coal everywhere. Alright. I'm going to mark this area where I came down with some bright colored wool so that I can easily find my way later. be able to see that from anywhere, I think. Alright, now I've got to find a way down. So I think I'll just dig some steps down. Oh, hello chicken. Alright, there's already a drop here. So. Um, oh, wait. Here. 
Um, um. Alright. Doing okay. Oh my god, I'm only like halfway down. This is crazy. Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! Uh, so that was a creeper, I believe. I don't know where the hell it came from, I didn't see it at all. Oh my god. Um... <sighs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing he didn't knock me over the edge, I would have died. With all this valuable stuff on me. Alright, so I need to be more careful. Go along the edge up here. I see another one down there. Alright. I hear scary noises. Oh my god. There. It's gone. It's perished. get the rest of this iron over here. And I am here on a... Is there any iron left? <laughs> I think the creeper may have taken all the iron. I came down here, yeah. Alright. More wool to mark this. This area. That's, that's a mistake. This is a very dangerous area to be, just kind of precarious on the edge up here. Ooh, there's some lava, some lava. Oh, oh. I just heard a... I think I just heard a creeper. Um, I'm just gonna continue down. Let's see what's in the bottom. Oh, there's some more iron here. That's where I was. Probably better to dig with the pick than the sword. <sighs> it's a big difference taking it off a of peaceful. <laughs> All right, I want to head down further. See if we can do it here. Ooh, more iron. Now, I could blindly just dive in this water and see where it takes me, but I'm um, not going to do that. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is head back home. What oh, is night? Shit. All the scary things come out at night. All the monsters. I think I kind of need to go back home and get some more supplies. Alright, I've made a little, uh, supply run back home. I want to keep it at peaceful around home, otherwise I risk creepers coming in and blowing everything up. Alright, it's morning now. I've made my way back here. And I'm ready to be hopefully a little bit less of a total wuss. That's right. Um, now the thing with water, you can swim in water, you can even swim up waterfalls, so water is a good way to get in and out of places, but I don't know what's going to be down there. 
if I try to go down this waterfall. So I'm a little nervous, but I did say I was going to try to be less of a wuss, didn't I? So, this will go down. Bye bye! <laughs> Water's a good way to transport stuff. I actually brought a couple of buckets of water with me so that I can use them to go over cliffs if I need to. I brought some ladders, I uh, brought some sand, all kinds of useful stuff. I bought a big pile of cooked fish instead of the beef that I had. I have one arrow. Not really enough for now. Alright, so... Geronimo, I guess. Here goes. And... Oh, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so far. So here we are, we're at the bottom of the ravine. It's very dark and scary. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit on the, uh, the lighting. Ooh! Gold. need my iron. I brought- I only have one iron pickaxe, so I'm just gonna use it for, uh... when it's necessary. There we go. I'll swap it out. So, which way to go? Do I go... Um, I guess I might as well continue on this way. This is where I, I am now. Now hopefully, there will be quite a bit of lava which will help with the monsters. Because they can only spawn in the dark, remember? Remember that, Mom. But they can also spawn in the darkness up there, and then fall down on top of me. This is possible. I've seen it happen in videos of other people. It hasn't happened to me because I've generally been some some iron here. So this is basically a mining expedition. You can see I brought a lot of extra picks with me this time. Um, I probably should have brought some more iron ones, but I'll just save my iron one for when I need it. Okay. There's a lot of water over here. It's, it's daytime now, but I gotta remember to put torches down because at night this will be dark. Pretty much. And darkness is danger. Now I've got to be careful about the water here. Water water flows in a strange way in this game. Put this down here. I think the water will... Oh no, it's alright. It's alright. So we've got some coal. I remember seeing in videos, older videos, like Yogg's cast videos and stuff, that abandoned mine shafts tend to spawn in these ravines. <laughs> oh god, it's dark! It's very scary. I don't hear any monsters. I mean, I've got, I've got good armor. Not the greatest armor, but good. It's funny, because whenever I watch other people playing, Usually the Yogg's cast, that's my favorite. Oh, I see them running cowardly from a single zombie. I'm like, come on, you wusses. It's one zombie, just take it out. But now when you're actually playing, it's like, oh god, there's monsters in here. <laughs> They're gonna hurt me. They make scary noises. Down a pick already. I killed it! I just killed Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's all I've seen is fucking creepers! <sighs> oh my god. Okay, it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> just a little shake it up. Uh, for mom, if you are not aware, that's a creeper. They blow up. And, um, destroy things and kill you with their explosives. They're, they're suicide bombers, basically. Kamikazes. Big green kamikazes. And they don't make a lot of noise. Like, you can tell when a zombie is nearby, because zombies are very noisy. And you, go, you can hear them from a mile away. But the creepers, they just, like, creep. Ironically enough, yes, they creep up behind you silently, and you don't hear them until they're about to explode. And they go, ksh, 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 and then, and then death. 
Well, not necessarily death. I probably wouldn't die if a creeper exploded by me now. Got my armor on. Would damage my armor quite a bit. Sure. Eh? Did you hear that? That's a zombie. Must be above me. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. All right, I fully explored half half of the ravine. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and drop off the materials that I found before night falls, and then um, oh, it's right, I came down by waterfall. Well, I can build a ladder up. I'll show you how the ladders work. It won't let me put. Oh, there we go. a bit finicky. Oh, I can't go up there because there's no room for my head. <laughs> it's been a little buggy, I think. Crap, and now it's getting dark. Really? You're not gonna let me place a torch? I'm gonna have to dig my way up the rest of the way, I think. Hopefully there won't be any skeletons because they shoot arrows. Okay. Maybe I can get up to... Oh, because the ladder's in the way. The ladders are... kind of treated like blocks, so... Alright. Clearly I was here before. I went up, I just destroyed my steps. Go. And we can get out. So this has been my first little adventure. Um, <laughs> chicken is still just hanging out here. What's up, chicken? It's cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me nearly wet myself over a pixelated green monster getting close to me. That's all for this time. See you next time.